Whilst. In, whilst from in Mark space. Cameron. This is from Mark Cameron. Whilst in space, have you ever looked away from Earth into the black void? Yeah. Uh, yeah. So yeah, because yeah, you time. can see. Yeah. Because yeah. you can see the stars. Oh yeah. Uh, yeah. You know, and, and uh, pretty much all the time you can see yeah. the stars. Yeah. It's it's not a black a cool void. Thing. I mean, it's black, but there's all kinds of little polka dots. There's all the there's all the stars there, and the cool thing is about it, you can see it during the day. And when you're when you're in space and you're looking into deep space and you're on the sun side of the orbit, uh, the sunlight washes out all the starlight, so you can't see any stars, just like here on Earth. There's all the there's all the stars there, and the cool thing is about it, you can see it during the day. Uh, the sunlight washes out all the starlight so you can't see any stars just like here on earth but then when you look out into deep space away from the sun it's the darkest black you can imagine yeah you can and there's more than stars you can see planets you can right. see moons you, you see the get the gas uh... in like just hanging there in a vast sea of darkness and the most frightening darkness that you could ever imagine Magellan clouds of yeah, the Milky yeah, you Way see galaxy. The Magellanic clouds. Magellanic. See, I was yeah. I just wanted the well, Magellan clouds. There's a large clouds. one and a small one, right? Yeah. The sky is uh, a deep black uh, when viewed from the moon, as it is when viewed from uh, cislunar space, the space between the Earth and the moon. And and then you can see uh, the zodiacal light. Whoa. Uh, those those are amazing. Right before the lights sunrise. of the zodiac. The lights of the zodiac. The z zodiacal Whoa. lights. Okay. Mr. Armstrong, I do realize that when you were on the moon, you had very little time for gazing upwards. But could you tell us something about what the sky actually looks like from the moon, the sun, the earth, the stars, if any, and so on? The sky is uh, a deep black. Uh, when viewed from the moon as it is when viewed from uh, cislunar space, the space between the Earth and the moon. The, uh, the Earth is the only visible object other than the sun that can be seen, although there have been some reports of seeing planets. I myself did not see planets from the surface, but I suspect they might uh, be visible. There's more than stars. You can see planets. You can right. see moons. You, you see the, ga the gas. Uh, uh, uh. The sky, of course, was, uh, was black, but it uh, had sort of a velvet sheen to it. The biggest visual surprise was just how black the sky was. <laughs> you have a brilliant sun, brighter than any sun you normally would see even here in New Mexico. Uh, you have uh, these, uh, these extraordinarily high mountains. We were in a valley deeper than the Grand Canyon. But then you have this black sky, a sky blacker than black, as the old Vit Viticon expression used to be. And we have to realize that in space, without the intervening atmosphere, <coughs> the heavens are ten times as bright, stars ten times as numerous, uh, because there's no uh, atmosphere to block, block the light. You can see those. Which are and what? Then you Explain can see those the to upper. us. Oh, well, it's I mean, I know what they are, but explain it to, explain it to the, to the, uh, well, to the it's audience. This big, it's this vertical it's column of fuzzy glow that uh -huh. comes up perpendicular to the horizon shortly before the sunrise. Just the inherent beauty of it, the velvet, bottomless bucket of the universe. In like, just hanging there in a vast sea of darkness, in the most frightening darkness that you could ever imagine. I've often tried to explain the difference between darkness when you turn out the lights and it's dark in here or blackness. Blackness is the endlessness of it all. It's hard to comprehend. When you get up on a clear night in Colorado up in the mountains where there's no light and you can see all these stars, well multiply that by a thousand. That's what it's like in space. And we could not see stars. I was just a systems engineer on a well-functioning spacecraft coming home. And so, sure, I had work to do, but not nearly as pressing as before. <clears throat> and we were oriented such that we were rotating to keep thermal balance on the spacecraft. And oriented in such a way that every two minutes, the Earth, the Moon, the Sun, and a 360-degree panorama of the heavens appeared in the cabin window. And that, that was awesome. It was an overwhelming experience. And we have to realize that in space, without the intervening atmosphere, <coughs> and we could not see stars, the heavens are ten times as bright, stars ten times as numerous. 
because there's no uh, atmosphere to block, block the light. Black, uh, when viewed from the moon as it is when viewed from uh, cislunar space, the space between the Earth and the moon, the space between the Earth and the moon. Since the moon has no atmosphere, then a daytime picture, if you're there in the daytime of the moon, you see a full night, night sky of stars, mm -hmm. even with the sun in the sky as well. When you looked up at the sky, could you actually see the stars and the solar corona in spite of the glare? We were never able to see stars from the lunar surface or on the daylight side of the moon by eye without looking through the optics. Uh, I don't recall during the period of time that we were photographing the solar corona what, uh, what stars we could see. I don't remember seeing any. I don't remember seeing any. Years later, though, Michael Collins would remember seeing the elusive stars and wrote about them in Expeditions to the Moon. It seems his memory improved the older he got. Big, fuzzy glow that goes way up high, maybe 30 or 40 degrees yeah. above the horizon, perpendicular to the horizon, and, and it's this fuzzy glow. It's a zodiacal light. Yeah, you know, actually on my very first mission, we went up and, and when, you're, when you're in space and you're looking into deep space and you're on the sun side of the orbit, uh, the sunlight washes out all the starlight so you can't see any stars just like here on Earth. But then when you look out into deep space away from the sun, it's the darkest black you can imagine. The, they're brighter, but they're different. Now, a lot of things different about them. One, you don't have the atmospheric distortion, so they don't twinkle, right? So you see lots of points and you see lots of points and that literally millions of them hanging there in a vast sea of darkness and the most frightening darkness that you could ever imagine. And uh, I live in Colorado and you get up on a clear night in Colorado up in the mountains where there's no light and you can see all these stars. Well multiply that by a thousand. That's what it's like in space. And then when you're outside doing a spacewalk and you, you have that one or two opportunities where you can let your eyes adjust, you can start to notice that some of the stars have colors we don't see here on the ground. The cool thing is about you can see it during the day. And when you're, when you're in space and you're looking into deep space and you're on the sun side of the orbit, uh, the sunlight washes out all the starlight so you can't see any stars just like here on Earth. There's all the, there's all the stars there. And the cool thing is about you can see it during the day. And we could not see stars. You don't see stars in the daytime on Earth, not because they're not there, but because the atmosphere is aglow with scattered light from the sun. If you take away the atmosphere, the sun will still be there, but the sky goes dark. That's what the folks get when they go to the edge of the atmosphere, and they're calling that the edge of space. But when you get to the edge of the atmosphere, the atmosphere is no longer between you and the rest of the universe. And the stars reveal themselves just as they would at night. Since the moon has no atmosphere, then a daytime picture, if you're there in the daytime of the moon, you see a full night, night sky of stars, mm -hmm. even with the sun in the sky as well.